Hello everybody, now today I'd like to show you a live demo of the best game graphics settings to play at with an NVIDIA GTX 1070 graphics card. I'll be showing my settings for 1080p, 1440p as well as 2160p, also known as 4K. When I initially thought of the concept of this video, it seemed a lot better to me, but now I'm not so sure about that anymore. This might as well be a totally useless video since most of you probably know which settings you can play at, but I've started working on the video Video, so no turning back now. Some of you might as well find it useful. So first of all, this Gigabyte GTX 1070 G1 Gaming is paired with the Intel i7-6700K Skylake CPU, just to let you know. Your results may be different depending on the processor you use. Also, my Azo EV2750 is a 1440p monitor. So in order to simulate the 2160p screen resolution, I'll make use of Nvidia's DSR feature. To start things off, Battlefield 4 at 1080p. Obviously, we don't need to worry about the settings here, just go for the Ultra preset and you'll get low lovely 120 plus FPS. Same for 1440p, leave it at the ultra preset and as you can see, I'm getting about 80 to 90 FPS on average. Now the GTX 1070 is not quite powerful enough to drive 4K monitors, so for 2160p I'll be going for custom settings. All the details at ultra, anti-aliasing off however. About 50 to 70 FPS is the result. Crisis 3. At 1080p everything at very high settings, instead of MSAA go for FXAA though, it's lighter on the GPU and under advanced graphics, very high, 16 times AF. As you can see I'm getting 70 to 80 FPS here. For 1440p I'll leave the settings as they are for 1080p. The frame rate is lower, but still 65 to 70 FPS, not too bad. At 2160p I went for the high preset basically, AA completely disabled, 16 times AF. The game's still looking good and with 60 to 70 FPS that's perfectly playable. Next up Far Cry Primal. At 1080p just go for Ultra and you'll be fine with about 80 FPS. For 1440p I'll be going with the same settings. That leads to roughly 60 FPS still playable. Now at 2160p settings do need to be lowered. I went for the low preset, this also disables AA. Far Cry Primal is quite a demanding game, at these settings I'm getting about 50 FPS, not so ideal anymore. In GTA 5, for 1080p DirectX 11, no MSAA, instead enable FXAA and everything else at pretty much maxed out settings. Reflection MSAA is at 8x. On average that are about 120 frames per second, nice. Now for 1440p the same settings, FXAA also enabled. The frame rate of 90 to 100 is pretty good. At 2160p for a playable experience, we need to go for lower settings. Still DX11, no AA, the other settings at high, reflection MSAA off and 16 times AF. 70 to 80 FPS, very playable. In The Witcher 3 for 1080p, just go for the ultra preset, unlimited FPS of course, and I like to turn off Nvidia Hairworks completely, probably a benchmarking habit. As for post processing, the high preset. The game runs at 80 to 90 FPS that way. For 1440p I'll go with the same settings again, about 60 to 70 FPS is the result. To get a playable frame rate at 2160p I decided to choose the medium preset, low didn't make much of a difference. However, post processing is set to low. 50 to 60 FPS is what I'm getting here at these settings. Last but not least, Rise of the Tomb Raider. At 1080p I enabled DirectX 12, the X11 for some reason runs very poorly on my GTX 1070, FXAA and everything else at very high, maxed out settings basically, 100 to 110 FPS. And again, for 1440p the same settings, the very high preset. And this scene that results in 60 to 70 FPS. And finally at 2160p DX12, AA off, preset low. This allows for a somewhat smooth experience with 50 to 60 frames per second. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, probably a totally useless video. I do realize that myself now, but anyway, love or hate my content, I at least did enjoy making this video. With that said, I hope some of you at least found it somewhat entertaining. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.